All right, uh, solutions for quiz eight for math 60. Um, we are given two lines here <clears throat> and asked to find the x and y intercept for both of them. So let's see, x intercepts. Um, that happens when y equals zero. So in line one, we would get two times zero minus four x plus eight equals zero, which is negative four x plus eight equals zero. If I subtract eight from both sides, I get negative four x equals negative eight. And so then I can divide both sides by negative four. Negative eight divided by negative four is positive two. All right, and then for line two, um, if y equals zero, I have negative 3x minus 6 times 0 minus 12 equals 0. So that's negative 3x minus 12 equals 0. Negative 3x equals 12. And then if you divide both sides by negative 3, you get 12 divided by negative 3, which is negative 4. Um, all right, and then we'll do the y-intercepts. See if I can squeeze these in. Oh. The y-intercept happens when x equals 0. So for line 1, we'd say 2y minus 4 times 0 plus 8 equals 0. So 2y plus 8 equals 0. 2y equals negative 8. So then y equals negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. And then finally over here, we get if x equals 0, negative 3 times 0 minus 6y minus 12 equals 0, which is negative 6y minus 12 equals 0. So if you add 12 to both sides, you get negative 6y equals 12. And divide both sides by negative 6. 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. So now we have the x and y intercepts for both lines. Maybe keeps them separate a little. <clears throat> All right, now find the slope. Well, we have two points in each case. For line one, we got the point when x equals two, y equals zero. And then we have another point when x equals zero, y equals negative four from above. So we can call those points x1, y1, and x2, y2. And then we know that slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can figure out the slope over here as negative 4 minus 0, just plugging into this formula, divided by 0 minus 2, which is negative 4 divided by negative 2, which is positive 2. And same idea over here. We have two points when x equals negative 4, y equals 0. And when x equals 0, y equals negative 2. So we can call these x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we can figure out our slope is y2, negative 2, minus y1, over x2, minus x1. So we got negative 2 divided by positive 4, which is negative 1 half. Um, and then part C says, determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Uh, they are perpendicular. Because negative 1 half is the negative reciprocal of positive 2, which you can think of as 2 over 1. Um, I guess that's it. That's the end of this quiz.